um, that people make a lot of... Okay. Hey, dudes and lady dudes of the internet. Today's video is actually going to be a two-part video. We're going to do the best and worst healthy snacks. So there's a lot of times where people think that they're eating snacks that are healthy, food that's healthy, and it's not. So there's a lot of like hidden sugars, there's a lot of extra carbs, keto things that have a bunch of carbs and they're not actually keto, gluten-free things that are actually worse for you than stuff that isn't gluten-free. It's really hard to try to figure out what's good, what's bad, without just doing a lot of trial and error. Luckily for you, I have done a lot of that trial and error for you. So I'm gonna show you some examples. The first part of this two-part video is gonna go over bad choices, well, at least what I would consider bad choices to eat for like healthy options. Second video will be good options. Now I'm gonna show some like comparisons in both videos. Also, what I'm gonna do here, just to be able to like actually look at the packages, look at the uh, nutritional facts, all that stuff, I'm actually gonna flip you over into a POV style which is not a term I use very often unless it's in my internet browser. But we're gonna do it that way. That way you can actually see it, like through my eyes, what we're doing. And uh, yeah, so let's get into part one. All right, so we're gonna start off with some examples. Um, like I said, this isn't like everything that people do. This isn't like all the items that you can go wrong on. These are just a few examples that I was at the store today and I saw and I was like, People need to know about this. I actually got inspiration off of RJF Fitness. He did a video like this uh, last week over low calorie snack options, um, stuff like that. So definitely inspired by that. I just thought I'd give my own little twist on it. So let's just jump into what's going on with certain choices. I guess no better way to start than right to left. First mistake a lot of people make, orange juice. One of the biggest mistakes people make is juice. Juice is not good for you. I know that our entire life we've been told that juice is good for us. It's supposed to be a part of breakfast. It's just, it's not. So let's just check, let's check the back of this real quick. So here we have 160 calories. There's 37 grams of sugar in this. Two grams of protein, zero grams of fat. So 37 grams of sugar in this. This little thing of orange juice is basically half, the, half of a can of soda. That's how much sugar is in this. So, and this thing is very tiny. To put in comparison next to a can of soda, not really worth the calories in my opinion. Don't drink all your calories, orange juice. Unless you're a power lifter, you're going to be the world's strongest man, you're gonna run a marathon, you're gonna do something where you need all this sugar and carbs. It's better if you even eat the orange than drinking all this. And uh, yeah, so juice, no. Another juice option, this one's very popular. This seems like, oh, this would be super good for you because it's, a smoothie drink, it's got blueberries, bananas, apples, it's got vegetables in it. It's got all this stuff in here just telling you how it's 100% juice. 320 calories in this. If we get closer and look at this, 55 grams of sugar. 55. To give you an inclination, a bottle of Mountain Dew, I do believe has 70 grams of sugar. So this is almost the same amount of sugar as a bottle of Mountain Dew. There are a time and place for all these things, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna say it probably a million times over this part one and part two, it's calories in, calories out. So none of these foods are inherently gonna make you fat or skinny. The problem is, it depends on how much you wanna eat. So if you wanna eat like three or four things like this, or drink, whatever it is, and hit your calories, well, that's up to you. If you'd rather have it like six, 12, 15 things, have a lot more food, that's what I would rather have because I like eating, so I don't really like having calorically dense things like this. And I don't like drinking my calories because this is not gonna get you full. You're gonna eat this with something else. And it's just, yeah, it's just not good. If you want fruits, eat your fruits and vegetables. If you were to compare like same amount of calories of blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, all the stuff that's in here, you would have so much food. So don't drink your calories. Another option, this is something that I think, um, I don't know if everyone grew up having fruit cocktail. It was just something my grandma always put on the plate for some reason. It's like, oh, you got your fruit, your fruit in for the day. So it's part of a balanced meal. Like I'll have a, a protein and a carb and then I'll have some of this fruit. Okay, that's not so bad. Let's check the back of it. So 100 calories, 
There's three and a half servings, okay? So 350 calories. If you look at the carbs, there's 26 carbs, 18 sugar. So just doing some quick math, that's like 60 something grams of sugar. Instead of getting this where it's in heavy syrup, you can get the same exact thing and no sugar added. Yes, it's sweetened with Splenda instead of sugar. It's not gonna give you cancer. It's gonna be all right. Let's check the difference. 150 for the entire can. Look at that, 150 for the entire can. 30 grams of sugar, the entire can. The other one, look at that, 100, 350 calories, 150 calories. You could have two of these, two of these for this, and you still save 50 calories. So avoid the heavy syrups, go with no sugar added. I'm telling you, you're not even gonna taste that much of a difference. Fruit is sweet enough, and it also has Splenda in it, so you're gonna be all right. No sugar added, always. If it has a no sugar added, no matter what it is, if it's beef jerky, uh, fudge pops, it's soda, anything that's a no sugar added, that's what you should pick over real sugar or heavy syrup. And does it taste just as good? Probably not. But if you think a couple moments of mouth pleasure and this tasting a little bit better is worth like double the calories, then that's on you. But I don't think that's worth it, so avoid the heavy syrup. Go no sugar added. Thank me later. Okay, I'm gonna try to combine these next two points kind of together. There's a big craze. Craze? Crave? There's a big craze. Big craze. These are popular, okay? So all of a sudden, cauliflower became like the big thing. Like everyone's like, oh, there's cauliflower pizza, and now we have cauliflower wings. It's crazy, it's cauliflower, it's vegetables, but it tastes the same. Ah! Just because it says cauliflower does not mean it's healthy. Flip this over. So, actually, you know what? Before I flip it over, I bought these without even looking at the nutritional label. I bought these at the store because I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. These will be like kind of healthier. It'll help my wing cravings. So this will be great. Well, when I got home, I looked at the back of this. Let's look at these nutrition label here, okay? 40 carb, five protein, six fat, 240 calories. So 240 calories, you go, that's not so bad. There's three and a half servings in this. Look at that. Three and a half. 840 calories in this bag. That is insane. That is insane. Just eat regular wings. Just eat regular wings. And you'll probably get more. There's not even a pound of wings here for almost 1,000 calories. Like, just because it's made out of vegetables doesn't mean it's good. Which? Leads me to my next point. Let me, sh let me show you the difference between these. So if you're at the store and you see veggie spaghetti, 25 vegetable puree, 25, there's 25 purees, 25% vegetable puree, okay? Made with real vegetables. This plain old great value spaghetti, there is nothing special about this. This is just like a dollar, like two dollars. The only difference is that this is made with veggies this is not. So you think, this has to be healthier, Dylan. There's no way that it's not. For the veggie, we have a 56 gram serving, 190 calories, 41 carb, one fat, eight protein. The plain old regular spaghetti, 200. 190, 200. Half a gram of fat, one gram of fat. 41 carbs, 41 carbs, eight protein, Seven protein, virtually identical. They're both 56 gram servings. So you're not doing anything. Like this is a marketing scheme. This, 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 marketing scheme. They are putting things on the front of these labels to make you buy them thinking you're eating healthier stuff and you absolutely are not. If you're gonna spend the calories and all the macros on this, you could literally save money and just eat the regular plain thing. Because at the end of the day, this is the taste you want. This is the taste you bought. You want less calories. You got the same. They done played you. I'm sorry. Don't make this mistake. Which leads me to my next point. Gluten-free. I need to flip you around for this, okay? Gluten-free. Look at me. Look me in the eyes. Just because something says it's made with vegetables, it's gluten-free, it's keto, it says protein on it. Does not mean it's any better 
been the alternative. And also, all the things, not to go off on a little tangent here, but the things that say protein, check the protein. Nine times out of 10, less than 10 grams. That's not high protein. A protein bar, 20 grams of protein, pretty much across the board. So if it has five grams of protein, it's a marketing scheme. If they add one gram of protein, they can literally put protein on the front of it. Just don't listen to that. Don't fall for the marketing schemes. Read your nutritional labels and don't just read packages. Okay, let's go to the next one. On to my gluten-free. Gluten-free Rice Krispie Treats. Regular Rice Krispie Treats. This little box, eight bars, is half 16. This is almost the exact same price. But this is gluten-free, so it has to be healthier. Let's go to the nutrition. For one bar, 22 gram bar, 100 calories. Two and a half grams of fat, 17 carbs, one protein. Let's check what the Rice Krispies are. A 22 gram bar, same size bar, 90 calories. So it's actually less calories for just what you want than the gluten-free. Two fat, so it has half a gram of fat less, the same amount of carbs, and it says less than one gram of protein, which probably means 0.5. Pretty close because the protein is so negligible that it's pretty close to the same. Literally no difference between the two of these for the most part, except for this one probably tastes worse, costs more money, and at the end of the day has more calories than the thing you want to begin with. Compare labels. Next point, nuts. If you're out there and you think that eating nuts is healthy for you, I'm so sorry. They can be. They have nutritional benefits and a lot of stuff, of course. They are so calorically dense. 170 calories, okay. 15 grams of fat, five carbs, six protein. So pretty decent protein. There's not much sugar in here. Um, there's not really much fiber, but there's not really any carbs in there. It's basically just a bunch of fat. You think 170, that's not bad, but there's five servings. So do that math. Wait for the class. 850 calories for this little guy right here. And to show you how I'm very confident that anyone who bought this would just eat the entire container at one time, let's compare it to the size of a can of Coke. Look at this. They are is smaller than a can of Coke for 850 calories. That is insane. This little thing of nuts has more calories than a Baconator from Wendy's. I'm so serious. It probably has more fat than a Baconator. Not sure, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a Wendy's expert, but I'm just telling you, that is insane. So if you're eating nuts, you have to watch what you're doing because even a handful of nuts could be hundreds and hundreds of calories. Bagels, man, I'm telling you, so calorically dense. Let's just look at the back of this. For one bagel, you have 200, no, it's crinkly, 250 calories. There's one gram of fat, 52 grams of carbs, and nine grams of protein. So very high on the carbs on this. If you're gonna do something like this, I would highly recommend that you would go for a different option. So these are bagel thins. They taste exactly the same as a regular bagel. Of course, it's not as big as a regular bagel. That's the whole point, they're thinner. But it has less than half the calories, 110 calories per serving. That's one fat, 25 carb, four protein. So literally, if you cut this in half with these. So just make smarter choices like this. But you can add this with some eggs or something else and make a much healthier breakfast than if you were to go for this. This little plate right here, okay, this has got a regular bagel on it. Look at that cream cheese. There's such a small amount of cream cheese on there that you can still see the bread coming through. Look at that, like there's no depth to that cream cheese. That's a serving. That's 350 calories right there. Well, 350 calories, that's pretty cheap for breakfast. Yeah, but it's all carbs and fat. You have almost no protein here. You have what, nine grams? Nine grams is not enough for a meal. So this, you can make a much smarter choice by getting a bagel thin, skipping the cream cheese, or adding a tiny bit. They make low fat versions of this too. Make smarter choices. Okay, I got two more things that people eat all the time that I just don't think they understand how bad it is. Dried fruit. Fruit is good for you. That is a fact. When you dry it, it makes it so much more calorically dense. I'm not entirely sure what process it goes through, but stuff like this, let's take banana chips, for example. Flip them over. 160 calories, nine grams of fat, 19 carb, one protein with sweetened banana chips. This little one third of a cup serving they have here is the same amount of carbs as eating just a regular banana. And this isn't just bananas that they've dried. 
I want to show you something that I didn't even notice or even know until I bought this. All right, let's take a look at these. Bananas, coconut oil, sugar, natural banana flavoring. I didn't know that they had oil and sugar to this banana. So there's not like this dehydrated, there's not chips. They had a bunch of oil and sugar to this to make them taste better when you could just eat the regular thing. This bag is like $4. If you got $4 worth of bananas, they're 40 cents a pound. I'm gonna do the math. You 10 pounds of bananas for, or 12 ounces of banana chips. 10 pounds of bananas. Don't buy dried fruit. If you're gonna eat raisins, eat grapes. If you're gonna have apple chips, eat apples. If you're gonna have banana chips, eat a banana. Don't buy dehydrated fruit. It is unnecessary calories and sugar. Very last thing, trail mix. How many people, show of hands, think trail mix is good for you? That's what I thought, quite a bit of you. It's not, you're not on the trail, you're not hiking, you're not a marathon runner or endurance runner or any of that. If you are, this is perfect. This is fuel. You've taken the dehydrated fruit that I just talked about and nuts, put them in one bag and you're like, this is healthy. No, no it is not. If you look at the back of this, you get a fourth of a cup. What is that? A fourth of a cup for 150 calories. Eight fat, 19 carb, three protein. So the macros aren't super bad, it's how much you get out of it. So this thing has 2,100, or yeah, 2,100 calories or more because there's 21 servings. So 21 times 150 is, do the math, that's actually like 3,000. That is an insane amount. You could just go to town on this bag and just wreck your diet. So don't do things like this, plan accordingly. And like I said, out of all the stuff that we went over with this, at the end of the day, it's calories in, calories out. You're not going, there's no food on this planet that's gonna make you skinny or fat, that's a fact. You have to burn more calories than what you take in to lose weight, or you have to eat more calories than you burn to gain weight. It's the only way that's gonna happen. But I like to eat as much food as I physically can. So sure, every day you can have a piece of cake. That's fair. But instead of that, you could probably have a lot more voluminous food. So you can incorporate whatever you like into your days. Just do it as intelligent as you can or whatever fits your lifestyle. But don't just eat calorically dense foods and not check nutritional labels. If you're dieting, you have to check the nutrition labels. Even if you're not dieting, look at the labels, see what's in your foods, okay? So that's gonna wrap up this part one. If you liked it, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell notification. That gives you alerts every time I post a video. I'm gonna get on to recording part two of this and I'll see you then.